<clears throat> All right. My buddy David here. Oh, Cotton himself. Introduce yourself to everybody. What's up? Cotton. Hold on, introduce yourself. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh, no, you got a gag reflex too here. Look at that. Like that. Is that better? <laughs> Oh, shit. All right. Really just did see my ex. That was not planned. That was not staged, people. That's just the way the universe works. I don't know. And this and is not a gas station where she lives too. here either. Nah, she don't even live near this gas station. I was just freaking talking about her is what just blew my mind. I, that's the karma I get for blowing this other guy's mind. And the universe is screaming out, stay away from this bitch. Because, yeah, she is pretty much a bitch. I swear I thought you were going to say the yellow bird. The universe is yelling out, put some D's on that bitch. Put some D's on that bitch. Anyway, that was random. Hey, coach my man if you got him. And you know what, people? You better stay away from these damn cigarettes. Like, I'm pretty sure butane will kill you, too. Like, this is... This is what bachelors do, you know? They, they get together and... Talk about crazy shit. And as I was going to adjust my hat, that's when you said, there's Crystal. There's Crystal. There's Crystal. There's Crystal meth and cloud, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Senator Feinstein. Comrade. Comrade. Senator Feinstein. Are on to the Russian bots. <laughs> Dude, you're insane. Whatever we're going to do about that. I do want to visit Russia, and they got them mail order brides over there. Um, I've never known anybody, so if you've known somebody got one of them mail order brides, tell them send them to me. Just kidding. No, he, he's he's serious. I'm serious. If anybody I, out there has ever had any dealings with mail order bride things, and if and if you're in Myrtle Beach, I'll come pick you up. If you're in Myrtle Beach, I know about all them gangs and the writings and all that down there. I will come pick you up, girl. Das And I'll spit on you. However that goes. I'm not fluent up on my Russian skills yet. But time we meet, it ain't going to matter. Because we're both going to be living underground anyway. So it's all good. And it don't matter really if you're that ugly because we ain't gonna have no lights. You know, my gerbil died. I was raising as a small child to help power that turbine. And I thought, oh, I'll get you a mate. You know, it, his name was Fred. I named him after my penis. True story, that's why it's funny. <laughs> and any girl who knows me that's right that's right you read the Fred train you rode that Fred train choo choo Fred's coming literally fuck me soldier fuck me soldier fuck me soldier yeah I, that's why I don't never gonna ever monetize I don't plan on it and you know I'm not like big name I don't really like fast food. I like watching him eat the fast food. Dame Drops. Go check him out. I love him. I love that man. He is for the small YouTubers. 
there are a lot of creators out there. Hey, Dylan Zuckerberg, go check my country as the White Bandit. It don't get no better name. It don't get no better name than that. The White Bandit. The White Bandit. I want you all to go check WB. out The White Bandit. And always, thank you, Redneck Nation. Thank you, Ryan Up Church, for giving the people a voice. I started watching you when you first did your little Larry, and I thought, I wish I could do that. that that's funny as shit. I'd, I'd never be able to get on camera like that. But you know what? I tried it, and I got addicted. I got addicted. The Russian women. They just rush in and rush out. Hey, I've seen some horror stories on that shit, homie. This one dude's uh, Russian mail order bride planted uh, drugs on his car somewhere and then called the cops and got him fucking pulled over. Which they knew the whole time she'd planted it. Just the way it all went down. She wasn't very discreetly. Well, he got him a dumbass Russian. Then she tried to have him killed and hired a fucking cop instead of Hitman. People, just do it yourself. Don't hire Hitman. Fuck. You go. I'm not going to tell you how to hire a Hitman. And don't take your cell phone with you. Don't fuck go to the hey, dark web. Don't go to the dark web and look up Czechoslovakian fucking gangs because you will find them. That's where I got this hat. I owe them some bitches like 13 marks or some shit. <laughs> You'll never come get it. Dead or alive, this hat is never coming off my head. I'm a dick. Good night, Mike. Shit, we went from Russia to Austria. Austria! Austria! That's hillbilly Austria. God! There is no L in this. Austria! I'm gonna get me a tattoo in Austria! Fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, if I see some Illuminati shit in my life. I'm looking at the side of one of the FEMA camp operation specially housing detainee center. Anybody ever work in the coal mines? Not that I ever worked in the coal mines, but I've been in a coal mine. And I've been, uh, I've, I've done, redone a house or two with some asbestos. Can you hear it? <laughs> Can you hear the asbestos? I used to remove that shit. That's just serious. Get that mesiothe on me. You better call a lawyer. I can tell you a story. It's a drug story about when I was removing asbestos. I don't know if it's allowed. Yeah. Kosher. Or... You know, I mean, these people in Colorado... They'll do like a half pound dab in their butthole and monetize it. They will make like $10 off a, a butt bong hit. Are you serious? You breathe through your nose? I mean. Oh, and if there's any special forces guys out there, I want to be waterboarded for some fucked up reason. Maybe it'll help clear my damn sinuses, my throat, you know, all the above. So, uh... Did you just say you wanted to be waterboarded? I want to experience what the... I want to experience where you'll, you'll tell on your old mama <coughs> after she done caught you jacking off in the damn closet. <laughs> but I grew up, I was like, Mom, you know where you never caught me in the closet jacking off like, oh... 
Billy Bob next door did. Yeah, son. I found a better hiding place. Thanks, Bob, for never catching me in, uh, was in the clothes hamper. And it was really, really small. That's why I named my penis Fred. It's a little name. Oh, people, I really do. I do this for you all. So y'all will know who Goldman007 is. When I started my channel, I said, who is Goldman007? Go back, Goldman007, for real. Like, even though they took down a lot of the terrorist stuff where Haji was calling me on my singar. Haji calling me on my singar. And all the bitches say. Ah. Uh, you know what? I, I think that's so derogatory to women. So, how'd you be calling me on my singer? Different tone this time. And here's what he say. <laughs> I'm coming to America, my friend. I told him that's not okay. <laughs> he showed me his passport sent to the FBI. That's probably the damn text that got fucking deleted. Dang, I said, you know, that is such a bad word to say, kids. Don't say that word. And I'm not one of them do what I do, don't do what I do. You know, I'm, I'm one of them, you do whatever the, you want to do. I listened to the Sex Pistols growing up. Oh, you fucking rebel, you. And there's still not anarchy in the UK. And I'm still mad at Motley Crue for... Fucking re singing that. <laughs> Motley Crue redid what? Fucking uh, Sex Pistols. You know. I am having a flashback to my fucking childhood. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. I'm pretty sure that fucking... Like a Rothschild done kidnapped me or something through the Civil Air Patrol. And I had to perform... Uh, I don't know. Wipe my memory of that shit, thank goodness. But I, I'm i sorry if that might have been a flashback. <sighs> Think that dude's homeless. Negative. I think that dude is a liberal. Well, I know I'm. Let's follow him, man. Sipping his rod. Hold on, man. I'll leave it recording. Well, I got it. 